Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session. As we take a deeper look at Chaz Green now, I must say, this is an unfair film on Chaz Green, but I have to show this film in order for you to see when you have poor offensive line play, it hurts the evaluations of other players. Now, even on this play along, of course, uh, he was able to block. But if we look back at this play, the refs swallowed the whistle finally for the Cowboys. They, they, they swallowed the whistle because they could have called holding on this because Chaz is holding on everlasting arm. And uh, he's able to save his quarterback at this point. And, and Mike White is able to get the ball out to number 44. Even on this play along too as well. We're going to see Chaz Green get beat to the inside. The guy is going to get a free release basically. And it's really unheard of on the playing on their front line. He's going to sink his feet. Not going to be able to swing his hips out at all. And the guy is going to beat him into the inside. Now on this play I'm going to show you guys the things that was open. Number 46 yeah he skated out to the outside. And bam able to get the quarterback down on the dirt so this is the thing now i must say <laughs> this leg whip right here and there's an old veteran move hopefully you can get away with it that's your last hope of defense of saving your quarterback you know what but the problem is he still ran for the reach the problem is when you're not able to have the secure block and when you're not able to help your quarterback out then you will see other things that is unseen like this wide receiver wide open getting the separation this wide receiver wide open too as well even if you want to be checked down charlie right you can even hit your tight end at this point if you throw the ball more so this way because that's that frame that size that uh, rico have you know for sure if this is the first down marker you can at least say now i have a third and one or what have you now look at the separation it's just like the guy's no longer in the window at this point all chad's green have to do is stand in the way remember i always say i know some folding chairs in natchez mississippi that can block better than chad's green and to get beat that badly i mean it's just horrible at this point if we look back at it yeah one can argue and say well maybe 46 could have stayed back you know but he's trying to get out too as well because you know it's, third, it's second and long at this point the guy is trying to make a play and and you got to be able to block just a little bit better than that Chaz green uh, i do understand that you know he gets the bad rep of not being a good player but somehow, some way, the coaching, when they're doing their evaluation, they have to really take a look at it. Whereas number 79 can cost somebody life. I mean, you can't get the evaluation that you need now out of this wide receiver or that wide receiver because of this guy right here. Everybody else is trying their best. Chaz Green played a horrible game, and number 75 played a horrible game. Those two offensive linemen played just horrible. And, uh, of course, <laughs> He was able to at least block the guy out of the picture. But, you know, I, I just really want to know your thoughts. I want to know your opinions on this thing altogether. Uh, that's all the time I have for right now. That's been my time. I really thank you for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. We're out. Peace.